One of the most common problems we see with people's gardens is them forgetting to water. Like people, plants experience stress, and one of the things that really stresses them out is inconsistent watering. Whether it's too much water at one point or not enough at another over a stretch of time, it will harm your garden and your landscape. Plants that are stressed out will wilt, dry up, or even sometimes die. Now, automating your irrigation system with a timer can prevent this by providing even consistent scheduling for every watering cycle, whether you're at work or out with the family or at home or on vacation. Automating a hose bib drip irrigation system is easy, but there are a lot of options out there for the very needs of our many gardens and landscapes. Today, I will go over the various timers and features that we most frequently get asked about so you can select one that will work best for you and your garden or landscape. There are four main types of timers we'll be talking about today. The mechanical timer, your standard everyday digital timer, the smart Wi-Fi timer, and finally, the simplest timer we have, the simplified water timer. Now, even though they're all hose timers, they're actually quite different in many ways. They have different features, different ease of use, and in some cases, different ways of functioning entirely, such as a mechanical timer versus a smart timer. There are a few things to consider when automating an irrigation system with a timer. From ease of programming, cost considerations, desired features such as Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, to compatibility with accessories like rain sensors. I'll walk through each consideration and break down each timer type into some of its pros and cons. And if you stay to the very end, I'm gonna give you a couple tips that will help you get the very most out of any timer type you choose to go with. Gone are the days of needing to be an expert in order to program a timer, but ease of programming can still vary from timer to timer. From the casual gardener who just wants to turn a dial to the advanced gardener who is looking for complex watering cycles for a diverse landscape, there are timers for almost any need of desired programming complexity. The easiest timers to program are our simplified water timers in the Aqua Uno line, the Kleber Logica and the Kleber Select. To program the Aqua Uno, you simply turn the dial to one of the 15 preset programs, and that's it. The timer will now irrigate the selected watering schedule with nothing further needed. Kleber's Aqua Uno Select is almost just as easy and has two dials, one for duration and one for frequency. The greatest feature about the simplified water timers is that they are simple to program. You simply turn the dial. This does, however, mean that they have the downside that they don't have robust or complex programming options. You're limited to what's on the dial. If you need something with more programming options, almost any of the digital timers would qualify, but the Beehive really stands out in this regard. It's programmed via an app and allows for almost any frequency and duration combinations. Now, this Beehive Wi-Fi timer has no screen. It's programmed only by the app. However, for those who like to have a little bit more of a tactile experience, there is a beehive that features both a screen and can be programmed by an app. This one just happens to have two outlets, but it's also available in one and four outlets. If you're wondering how long to schedule your timer for, check out our video there in the top right corner. It explains some of the factors that go into watering cycle durations and tells you how to use a soil moisture sensor to tell when your soil is sufficiently moist. While not the number one factor in most cases, cost considerations are always important. In the case of hose timers, inexpensive does not necessarily reflect lower quality. In many cases, it simply comes down to some of the features. Optional features like Bluetooth or Wi-Fi are on more expensive timers. But if those features are not needed, then there is no sense in paying for them. Most people are going to find the greatest value in our standard digital timers. It's not that hard to find good value amongst some of the lower cost timers. This hose-in timer is well-made and durable and is one of the lowest cost timers we have. We also have inexpensive timers manufactured by some of the leading brands, such as this one from Melnor. Digital timers have much more robust programming options than many of the dial or mechanical timers, but unlike a Wi-Fi timer, you do have to program it at the timer itself, which can be inconvenient at times. If your faucet is particularly low to the ground, space may be one of your primary considerations when selecting a timer, as some, as you can see, are significantly larger than others. Take, for example, these two timers. As you can see, there's quite a significant difference in size between these two timers. So that's something to keep in mind. How much space do you have at your faucet and what kind of timer can you fit? If your faucet is low to the ground and you'd like to learn some tips and tricks on how to set up a head assembly or a drip irrigation system there, check out our video there in the top right. It's all about using different parts to maximize your space. For those looking for a budget option that will still give you more control than manually watering, there are two good old-fashioned mechanical timers available from Orbit and Melnor. Though they do require you to physically operate them, 
they don't require any batteries or power source. The mechanical timers are simple. You just simply turn the dial to the duration that you'd like and you're good to go. It will count down and then stop the cycle when the timer reaches zero. And all this with no batteries or power source required. A couple of the pros to mechanical timers is that they tend to be very affordable and they're simple and reliable and they'll never run out of batteries. The downside is that they always require manual reset of the timer. So there's no automatic interval watering, no special features. They're truly just simple, old fashioned timers. In regards to features, there are a number of timers that give you much more flexibility and control than what's found with simplified digital and mechanical timers. If you're looking for more freedom and more features, you're going to want to look into a smart timer. Now, there are two types of smart timer, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. For those looking for a little more freedom, but don't want to spend big on a Wi-Fi timer, many timers now come equipped with Bluetooth capability. This allows the timer to be controlled via an app or a mobile device remotely, so long as you're within Bluetooth range and, depending on the distance, within line of sight. The app allows you to control the irrigation from your mobile device. This includes programming your watering cycles, running a manual cycle, ending a watering cycle, and, on some of the timers, setting up a rain delay so your timer doesn't open during rain showers. One of the biggest pros to Bluetooth timers is that they're significantly more affordable than Wi-Fi timers, and they only need a mobile phone to connect to, not an entire Wi-Fi network. Bluetooth timers also provide intuitive apps to control with line of sight remote. The downside is that you do need that line of sight to control it with Bluetooth, and you won't be able to control it when you're away from home. Bluetooth timers are also pricier than digital timers. Now, if you do need to control your irrigation system fully remote, whether it's work or vacation, you're going to want to look into the Wi-Fi timers. If you like Bluetooth but want the added flexibility of being able to operate your timer truly remote, then look no further than a Wi-Fi timer. The Wi-Fi enabled timers come with many features you'd expect from a smart timer. Full programming from the mobile app, anywhere you have internet access, manual watering cycles, and rain delays. Some Wi-Fi timers, like the Beehive, take it a step further and are even able to adjust watering cycles and frequency based on local weather data and even landscape features specific to the property in which it's being used. This means less water used on rainy days and more water used on hot, dry days. Basically, less wasted water. The Beehive can even send reports when more than expected water is used, something that could indicate a leak. Early warning when a leak occurs has the potential to save you a significant amount of time, money, and frustration. For those with multiple locations, the apps can even control multiple timers remotely, providing the ultimate freedom of irrigation control from anywhere the internet can be accessed. Beware the difference between Wi-Fi and Bluetooth timers, as not all Bluetooth timers are also Wi-Fi. If you need remote access and don't want to be limited to Bluetooth line of sight, be certain that the timer you're interested in has the Wi-Fi designation particularly if you find a deal on a timer that seems too good to be true. In that case, it might simply be a Bluetooth timer. Just because it has an app doesn't mean it's a Wi-Fi timer, as Bluetooth timers also come with apps. If you plan to use Wi-Fi with your Beehive, make sure it comes with, or you purchase separately, a compatible Wi-Fi hub. To sum up the Wi-Fi timers, the biggest advantage to them is that you have a lot of programming flexibility not found in other timers, and this flexibility can be accessed anywhere you have internet access. That is also their biggest downside. You must have internet access in order to manage your irrigation remotely. Wi-Fi timers also tend to be the most expensive by a good margin. One of the advantages of traditional irrigation controllers for lawn and turf is you can have multiple zones so that the watering cycles can be customized for each zone. This might mean the shady side of the house gets a bit less water or the zone with flowers has its own watering cycle separate from the lawn. This advantage can now be employed by those using a hose bib as the water source for their irrigation system. Multi-outlet timers can allow for anywhere from two to four zones in a single timer. Each outlet on these is able to be programmed individually, so you can really customize the watering for your entire landscape. No longer will providing enough water for one plant lead to too much water for another. Since the outlets are individual, an outlet with no irrigation attached can even be used as a garden tap by running a manual watering cycle. Running a manual water cycle is as easy as pressing the manual button. Now, another type of timer that we haven't mentioned yet is a zero pressure timer for gravity systems. Irrigation systems powered by gravity are one of the fastest growing areas in irrigation. Traditional irrigation valves and even most hose end timers require a minimum of pressure to be achieved, often much more than what you'd see in a gravity system, requiring anywhere from 7 to 15 psi minimum. This timer solves that problem. 
it can open and operate normally at essentially zero pressure. This allows those with very low pressure gravity systems to automate their systems just as well as those with a pressurized water source. Previously, rain and soil moisture sensors were exclusive to expensive hardwired solenoid valve systems. But today, this level of convenience and control is within reach for those irrigating from a hose bib. Claver's rain sensor, for instance, will turn off the irrigation when enough rain is received. Best of all, it will do this without the need for Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connectivity. You simply wire it to your timer and then place the sensor in an exposed location where it can collect rain. Melnor also produces a soil moisture sensor that's compatible with many of their timers. A soil moisture sensor will automatically interrupt programmed watering cycles when the soil is sufficiently moist. If you will be using any of your timer outlets for multiple purposes, such as drip irrigation system and a garden hose both, one feature that comes in handy is known as a quick connect. A quick connect is a special fitting that allows you to disconnect components without the need to unscrew the components. This allows you to quickly swap out one component for another. For example, having a garden hose connected to one quick connect fitting and a drip irrigation system to another. You simply pull one off and push the other one on. No twisting, turning, or threading. The reputation for hose and timers to break or fail early is undeserved. When properly taken care of, hose and timers can provide reliable irrigation for years to come. And properly taking care of one is easy. I have a couple of tips to help you extend the lifespan of your hose timer significantly. Number one, use the timer in a shaded location. If the hose bib it is on is in direct sunlight, consider providing some type of shade. Though most timers are UV treated, exposure to the sun still speeds up deterioration of the materials. When out of direct sunlight, this deterioration slows down significantly. Number two, use the batteries that the manufacturer specifies. If they specify alkali, don't use lithium or rechargeable nickel, for example. Number three, replace the batteries at the interval that is recommended. Typically, this will be once at the start of every irrigation season. Number four, winterize the timer. Hose timers should be brought inside where it stays above freezing over the course of the entire winter. The batteries should also be removed during this time. And finally, number five, do not immerse or use the timer in a location where it may become immersed in water. Timers are weather resistant, but not weather proof. If you'd like to learn more about winterizing your system, including your timer and your head assembly, check out the video there in the top right. It's a step-by-step -step guide to winterizing drip irrigation systems that run from a hose bib. If you'd like to really automate your system, not just the watering cycles, but even injecting nutrients automatically, check out our fertilizer injector video right there. It's a step-by-step -step guide that covers the EasyFlow hose bib fertilizer injector. If you'd just like to grab a timer and jump in and get started, you can find our timer selection at the link right there.